Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. The topic for the day comes from uh, Paul. He didn't send the note to the blog but he sent a, a question to the Digital Art Academy and I ultimately got it. I sent him a quick note telling him how I would make a signature in Painter and he followed the steps but then he got a little confused in the middle of it. So rather than send another note back to him, I thought I would just go through the process uh, of how this is done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up a document. And I, I open up a fairly large document when I'm doing this. This particular document is going to be uh, 12 inches by 12 inches by 100 pixels per inch. Okay. So that's uh, what I've created here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a layer. That is extremely important. You do not want to do this on the canvas layer. If you do, you'll have to start over. So try to remember, put it on a layer. Now the next thing that you want to do is pick a pen. I usually use the real variable tip pen. Um, I just, I don't know, I like the little, the way it moves around and stuff. Now I'm going to select a color, and the color that I have got, I've gotten is a dark purple. Now, the color can be anything, okay, and a dark color is probably best, except you don't want it to be either white or black. Any other color is fine, but not white or black. And then what you do is you come into the center of this, uh, image and you quickly bring in, uh oh it's not big enough, uh, so let's make it a little bit bigger, and so you quickly go in and make your uh, signature however that's going to be, that looks like a mess, <laughs> but that's what you do, so rather than keep trying this, and, and what I do is I, I, I do it over and over and over again until I get one that I kind of like. And so rather than continuing to try this, I will delete this image, and voila, there's the signature that I decided was acceptable. And it is on a layer of it of, uh, by itself. Now, the next thing that you want to do is duplicate this layer. And the easiest way to do that is to click on the layer, right click, and then just click on duplicate. Okay? Now, we've got both of these set up. And here's where the fun stuff comes. Now, notice that this is transparent. These layers are transparent. So when I grab this uh, signature, I'm only going to be getting uh, a transparent image of it. Now what I'm going to use is the image portfolio. And this is what your image portfolio is. It, it looks like this up here, but then as you add more portfolios, you get lots more little things to work with. Okay. Now I'm going to decide that I want to put this uh, skip up here in this first image portfolio. So what I want to be sure is that I've selected an image in there. Okay, so that means this is the active portfolio. If you look at your layers, you'll see that I'm on layer 2. Okay, now you could name layer 2 uh, if you want. You can go to your uh, layer attributes and name the layer skip or name it skip signature whatever you think uh, would be a good name for your signature so we're going to put in skips signature and we're going to say okay so that layer is now uh, named skip signature so again, we've gotten the, uh, an image selected in the image portfolio. By the way, you get your image portfolio and your selection portfolio by going to Windows, Media Library Panels, and at the end of it, Images and Selections. And what we have is the image selection portfolio. Okay, so you click on the Option button of the image portfolio, 
And then all you do is say, add to portfolio. Ta-da! And it asks what what is the name you want to save it as. And if you've already named your layer and you like that, all you have to do is say, OK. <clears throat> and then what happens is if you come over here and look, you'll see that there is Skip Signature added to the um, image portfolio. Also notice that one of your layers is gone. When you move a layer to the image portfolio, it takes it away from the current document. So that's why I had you do two so that you could keep this. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to go File, Save As, and save this somewhere. Uh, let's, we'll go to my uh, where is it? Custom Painter stuff. And I'll put it, do I have a signatures in here anywhere? Uh, I don't. But I do have Skip's image portfolio, so I'll just go in there and I'll call this Skip's signature. and we'll save it as a RIF file. And doing that, I can always get back to it and use it again. Okay, so let's turn that off and let's fill the canvas layer with a color. <laughs> we'll fill with something really bright uh, red. There you go. And we've turned this one off up above and I did that specifically so when I bring this uh, <clears throat> image back in, you'll see that it's still transparent and all of that. So all I have to do to bring this into here is click on it and then double click. And when you double click, it brings it in. Now it usually tries to center it up into the top quadrant and that's fine. All you need to do is take your layer adjustment tool and just move it wherever you want. Now the next thing that you want to do <clears throat> is you want to change the size. So <clears throat> and and you know this this part, the part that I did before now was the only time you'll have to do that. Now this part, the part where I've moved it and changed its size, you do that every time you add the signature to your document. So I would just go up here to the Layer Adjuster tool, hold hold it down until the Transform tool pops up, and then I would hold down my Shift key. I'm in the currently I'm in Move, and I want to change the scale. So I would click on Scale. This is the uh, Transform Tools property bar. So I'd skip click on scale and I would hold down my shift key to keep it constrained to the same proportions and I would make it as small or as large as I need it. Then I could still using my <coughs> layer adjuster tool I would click on move and I could move it down to where I would like to have it. Again I could go back to scale and make it a little bigger if I wanted to. And if you wanted to write it so that it was at an angle, maybe going up a tree or something, just click up here to rotate and you can just turn it to be the size that you want. Now, color. We don't like this color. <laughs> so we want to change that color. Now the easiest way to change that color first is I've got to accept or commit the transformation. Now I want to stay on this layer where this layer we don't see. <laughs> okay, and I'm, I'm on this layer and I want to go to underpainting. Okay, underpainting panel. Now your underpainting panel, and I need to close this a bit uh, so it gets up into the area that we can see. Your underpainting panel gives you the option of changing the hue of the image. So if I move this hue, the image 
is actually changing color. You see that's now a green. Now it's so dark though, so let me put it on the green and what we'll do is we'll increase the brightness. See there we go, we got bright green. Green is not good on that red. So we keep moving until we get the color we want. Okay, so let's say it's kind of this almost the orangey red here or I really can't tell but something like that. Alright so then what I can do I can increase my brightness even more. I could increase the contrast and see that really made it bright so let's bring the this back down some I could increase the saturation and I need to bring brightness down a little bit. Let's see if we can get a better color. We'll use that blue. And then I could also change the value. I could make it darker or I could make it a lot lighter. Okay. I just can't find the right color. We'll stay with that one. But anyway, the point is you can sit here and fiddle with these and get the color that you want for your uh, signature. And that's really all it is. And you can see that the signature, you know, the, the background is transparent. So you're not going to be bringing any, any kind of uh, white or color background into your signature. And this works really well. So all you have to do then is, you know, close your painting, save it, whatever. I'm going to close it, open up a new one real quick. I'm going to uh, come over to my image portfolio. I'm going to make sure my selection, my signature is selected. I'm going to double click and it brings in its own layer. Bring it down some, switch to the control. Uh, transform tool. I'm just going to make it smaller this time and we're going to go to the um, I gotta commit the transformation so we'll say yes sorry I forgot that. So we'll go to this layer and here we've got our tools again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm get, this time I'm going to increase the value so that I get more of a color and then I'm going to start moving the hue and you can see I can get lots of different colors. Okay, so let's just take it up to one of these red colors. If I don't want it to be so saturated I could bring it down and get it we can get it to a fairly non-saturated red and we can always and we can not we can take it to gray as well um, I can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness I can increase the contrast and that's inside of those lines that the contrast is changing I could reduce the value again and get it down to black if I wanted to uh, so I have all of these options and once I'm through I just click on apply under painting and now my signature is okay and ready to go. Alrighty I hope that answers your question uh, Paul and anybody else that wants to make a signature in painter. Bye bye.